Hi ho! Uh, welcome to a not reaction video. Uh, I'm gonna call this like reaction recap or something catchy and cool and awesome. Mm. Um, but basically, we're just gonna go over and recap the first ten reactions we have um, for this series. So yeah, uh, we've gotten recommend or comments that want us to kind of go over and address some things, and I think some things need to be addressed as well. Um, it's hard to respond to comments on this channel since there's two of us, so you don't really know hmm. who the comments are coming from. So this is kind yeah. of a way to really clear the air and everything and give updates. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of, we should probably be signing our comments and being like, this Good. is like I, I just Whenever I sign a comment, I feel like a 50 year old guy on Facebook with like, <laughs> their initials at the end. It's true, but there is multiple people on the same yeah. channel, so... I don't know. We, we could do that. We'll work yeah. on it. Yeah. I haven't been doing it yet, but if you see a comment, it's most likely me. Um, as of now, at least. But I've left one or two, but yeah. yeah. So I think we're just going to go in order. Um, and our first one was Aventura, the debut. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess we'll just kind of go over if we've listened to it since then, if our thoughts have changed, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Um, and I guess it would be more applicable if I did it because I was the one reacting to it. Right. Yeah. Um, which I guess, um, we'll have to think about going forward, but yeah. Um, Ventura was the first one we did. Um, like right after we did it, I remember listening to it a lot. I don't remember if I had anything like there wasn't any hot takes or anything. No, in no. That I think video we just that enjoyed that one. Yeah, and I at that stands. Um, I listened to it a couple days ago, um, and it still. I mean, it holds up. It's only been a couple weeks or whatever since I heard it the first time, but um, yeah, they've got. It's like that first four track run mm -hmm. where it's like that is. It's pretty g dang close to perfect, uh, and then it does kind of fall off with like some good ones sprinkled in. Which I think was the consensus that me and you both kind yeah, of share on yeah, this. Yeah, that's kind of the thoughts I've had on it um, for mm -hmm. as long as I've been listening to it. And it hasn't changed. Which, you know, first four yeah. tracks are amazing. So the whole record is probably pretty good off of that. So what are we? I don't know if we rated it, but I would probably put it at like a seven or something because of I think I did that too. I don't. We rated it like a couple episodes later. I don't remember what our ratings were for it. Yeah, I think whatever we rated it back then stands. I don't care. Yeah, it's a seven. Okay, uh, just for those four tracks alone, which is weird to say because it's eleven tracks long. That just goes to show how epic those first four tracks mm -hmm. are, and like what can we do in some of the other ones? That yeah, are it, it was a majority that hit. There was like three, I think, that were kind of just eh. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. There was no hot takes in that one. That was just that we got no. lucky with getting Ventura as our first wheel spin. Um, no hot takes. We were just jamming. We both enjoyed no. it. No. And I think the weird thing about this so far is that the majority of albums that we've done have not had hot takes or things where we've like super disagreed on. Mm -hmm. The majority of them have been, um, you know, ones that either we both like or ones that we can respect yeah, and be like, this isn't something that one person is bashing on. One person likes, likes right. for the most part, but we'll get to those later. Very soon. Um, yeah. Blonde was number two. Yes. Uh, um, there was a comment in that video that kind of gave us the idea to do this. Um, mm -hmm. And they listed their like top five from the album. And then a couple people are also saying theirs. Um, mm -hmm. but I don't remember that one too much. I think we both, or I think you enjoyed that one. I don't remember. I did. Yeah. Um, if I remember right, um, there, there's a few songs. This one is probably the one out of all of them that I go back to the most. Mm -hmm. Um, I think there, there's a couple tracks that I could probably take or leave. Um, but probably the majority of the tracks, uh, I'm a big fan of. I should 
probably pull up the track list here. Um, yeah, I think my favorites, I, I think these are kind of going to be normie answers, but like Knights, Self Control, uh, and White Ferrari are probably my favorite. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure those are like some of the most popular. So, yeah, I mean, they're good songs. So it's not like there's no reason uh, that would be bad why they're the most popular. Um, yeah. 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 Uh, um, they put their top five. Um, I don't know what my top five would be out of Blonde. It changes like every single time. But they put Future of Free as number three in their top one. So I got confirmation mm-hmm. that I'm not uh, completely crazy. Um, well, that was a realization that you had in the video. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, I've been sleeping on this song. I, it's yeah. like one of those where you just do an extended outro and there's like half the song is not a song and then people forget about it, mm-hmm. which I did until that video again. Um, but yeah, blonde is still pretty amazing. Um, I think it will always be. And I don't think it's like a coincidence. That's that, that like, that's the one that you go back to the most. That's kind mm-hmm. of this record kind of sticks with people. That seems to be the general consensus. I mean, it's, I wouldn't say it's like the most like different one that we've listened to. Mm-hmm. Cause I think if we're like the most out there is probably Gex, mm-hmm. but this one is like different in like, it's more like traditionally different. If that makes sense. It is a very transformative like piece of art. Mm-hmm. It doesn't and have a genre. You can label it. It's a little bit more ambiguous. What if they, is he's like neo soul? Is that what people he's, kind of categorized him as? There's like a progressive R and B, experimental R and B. Not so much neo soul. Usually that has a lot more like brass in it. Like Anderson mm-hmm. Pack would be neo soul. Okay. Um, I don't know. He's kind of carved his own lane. Yeah. In that space, so that's why it's hard to. It sounds like music I've heard my whole life, but I haven't. So the, he's mm-hmm. it's like nostalgic, but without a point pinpoint of where that nostalgia comes from. So I don't know. It's just really unique compared to everything else. Yeah. Yeah. Channel it's definitely is like, a lot more traditional R and B though. So if we are interested okay. in that one, then that one's a lot more like you can pin down what it is. Okay. I mean, I would be opposed to, mm-hmm. um, listening to that one. I know Andre's on there. So again, third appearance yes. on the channel. That's true. We gotta we gotta bump those numbers up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I very unique, very cool. Mm-hmm. Um, probably just looking through what we're we've reviewed. Probably my favorite thing that we've reviewed so far. Okay. Um, so that's my thoughts. Epic. As it has changed. Yeah. Nice. Uh, mm-hmm. That's pretty cool to just see stuff attach off of it um i feel like not many people listen to blonde once and then throw it out so mm-hmm. solid opinion and a pretty organic way to get into the album even off of a first reaction that's recorded mm-hmm. um yeah. yeah next was in rainbows our most controversial <laughs> our video most controversial ever. video um besides kangaroo jack Oh, well. That's just people getting angry that it's, we just didn't post the full <laughs> Kangaroo Jack movie <laughs> to YouTube. Um, yeah, we're at a 50% like ratio on that one. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I knew that one was uh, yeah unpopular. Yeah. I mean, you did kind of like solidify your stance and go hard on it, and then people took it out of context, but at the same time... <laughs> what did they take out of context? Uh... I don't know. You just went harder on this one than usually, you usually mm. do. Well, this was the first one that, um, you know, I was anticipating, maybe not liking, mm-hmm. um, you know, up to this point. Um, Ventura, I had listened to Malibu and liked it. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, I'm excited to get into what Anderson Pack's doing. Plus, he's doing that Silk Sonic thing. Uh, probably, maybe. I don't know. Question. <laughs> Um, and then blonde, I was just excited to, to listen to it because I've heard you and Bab Jeb talk about it so much. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Radiohead, of course I have had 
prior experience in, and I didn't like my pri my prior experience. Um, but that being said, um, I do kind of regret um, the way I reacted to this album because I don't hate it. Um, in fact, I listened to it again today. This is number two. Uh, I didn't love it, but I did enjoy it uh, more so than I did on the initial reaction. Um, Everybody I, that's I found posted my... a comment saying this exact same thing is just smiling right now. Yeah, I know. I will I've, be putting I've... this section in that comment section, so when people see it, they can get the update. <laughs> okay, that's that's probably. I a think good that's idea. a cool thing that not a lot of people do. Um, mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I. That was especially like with what's coming next, like with Gex and stuff, or like just Gex, because that's the only other one that I've yeah. been like that. I think. Um, I think Gex. I don't feel bad about the way I acted towards. No, that's Gex. a very polarizing album. So like, yeah. it's completely like in <laughs> in the area to be like that um, for sure. Yeah, but Radiohead did not deserve it. Um, that being said, if you are a Radiohead fan, get out of here! I don't want you on the channel. You're stupid. <laughs> I hate you. He does listen this. to Creep he Two does this every time. Listen to Creep Two. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. There, I don't know. There, there might be more Radiohead here. There might not be. It, it's all he's brought up Pablo Honey, and I'm like, please don't make that your favorite. Um, <laughs> that would be devastating. Uh, a Moon Shaped Pool also came up. Um, whether that was sarcastically or not, uh, that's my favorite one personally. But it is also the longest and the most like drawn out. But I it mean, is a masterpiece. We, so. we can listen to a moon shaped pool. I will warn you, I probably won't like that one. No. And so I wouldn't go into the. But with, I would also be surprised because you might. I mean, one of your main criticisms with In Rainbows was like Tom was just kind of going with the rhythm. Yeah. And this, this one, it's like he is the star of the show and everything supports him. So it's a little different. Maybe. Maybe I then. I don't know. Maybe. Um,. Yeah, we'll have to see. Yeah, that might be um, later down the line though, because we got a lot of good stuff coming. So yeah, but. well, and we're we've been putting some more fan recommendations mm -hmm. on the wheel. Um, you know, eventually, if we end up getting enough, I think it would be a good idea to just do like a whole fan wheel where we just do the whole yeah. thing. If as we can get like up to like eight or something like that, or six mm -hmm. even. Um, I mean, like right now we only have like three, right? We have three and two of them are in the wheel so they can get picked at okay. any given moment. Um, okay. Yeah. But we'll, we'll see how many things we get. Keep in mind, mm -hmm. everything's on like a week delay, week and a half. So there might be more by the time this is uploaded. There might not be. Who knows? Yeah, that is true. We are stockpiling stuff. Um, but yeah, and that's pretty much all I have to say about in rainbows okay. i think uh blues traveler was next ah my favorite album that we've listened mm. to is blues traveler yep um so this one's all you yes this was your Have first you... wheel pick <laughs> <laughs> fourth episode and our yeah. odds are even in the thing and it just didn't like you and it still doesn't like you too much um nope well next time next time yeah um, I haven't returned to it. I haven't thought about it and I haven't, uh, gone into any of their catalog. Wow. That, that is just <laughs> plain disappointing. Just plain disappointing. Um, I mean, it's cool. Like I gave all my thoughts that I think I had to in that video. Uh, mm. I won't be offended if someone turns on blues traveler. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> There was some songs on there that were pretty not very good. Uh, the there's a lot of them that just are kind of dull. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. They don't. They aren't very good at ballads. No, They're and they did work half of the album. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was weird. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have much to say about Blues Traveler. That was probably the the one that I haven't thought about at all, and I edited that. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think I've gotten enough of Blues Traveler. Sorry, Papa was here. Um, 
course, when we talk about blues travel, of course, he just he just appears <laughs> <laughs> like magic. Yeah. Um, Marvin Gaye was next. Mm. So this is one that we both didn't listen to. Mm-hmm. Um, I think this was my wheel pick, but I haven't listened to it yet. Yes. Um, we have both listened to what's going on. Uh, I, there it is. Um, there it is. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's probably one of my favorite albums that we listened to on the, the Rolling Stone video, uh, the classic video series that we did. Mm-hmm. Um, probably one of my favorites. Um, and I think Let's Get It On is probably maybe just musically probably just as good as what's going on. Mm -hmm. But I think, and this is something that I didn't say in the video, but I think I really uh, resonate more with what's going on just because I like the subject matter a little bit better. Um, You know, like the, the whole like social uh, issues stuff was kind of, really eye-opening to me just that like so much of what he was talking about is so applicable to today Mm -hmm. and so like when i was listening to it uh you know in fall of 2020 when all of that was at like it's very high tensions and everything uh it was you know an interesting experience to be sure um and i think i just like I just like it more, Mm -hmm. but I think they're probably even musically. If that, yeah, I think they're, they're par for each other. Like the quality is constant. Mm -hmm. I think I prefer let's get it on just because I like that style more. I didn't Mm -hmm. find myself listening to what's going on unless I'm sitting down and listening to the whole thing again. Cause a lot of the songs seem to kind of blend together. Mm-hmm. But this one, I can pick a couple out and they'll show up randomly in my liked songs on Spotify. And I'll be like, yep, that's pretty good. But yeah, for these old albums, I usually don't add them to my playlist. Like a majority of my playlist is like new stuff. Um, but like Anderson Pack and Blonde, I'll add because those are like summer songs. So those automatically kind of get brought in with the mm-hmm. season. Um, but if I'm making playlists specifically for like car rides or hiking or something, then that's when I bring in this other stuff where I bring in like a Marvin Gaye or something. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's still really enjoyable. I think this was the first one that we both haven't heard that we reacted to. Yes. And I think we both knew we were going to love it and we did. So it was, I think at that point, probably the shortest one we had done too. Mm -hmm. Um, To that point. Yeah. To that point. Um, and it is one of our shortest videos, only beaten by Boy Genius by only like 10 seconds. Yeah, 10 seconds. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think Marvin Gaye, probably one of the best musicians ever. Mm-hmm. Um, crazy good. Even though, interestingly, I don't think he knew how to play any instruments. I think he was just like verbalizing and doing all the riffs for all the instruments and then the that's still like super crazy because the compositions on that one was what like impressed me the most Mm -hmm. yeah he was crazy Mm -hmm. crazy good um so no shock that that was gonna be awesome yes um well gex was next um the 36 minute video or the 37 minute video off of like the 23 minute album Um, yeah this was probably like my favorite reaction video we've done so far it was really, yeah. I mean, it was fun having Bab Jeb and then just true. It's a very reactable music. It just comes, you know, with what we're listening to. Um, mm-hmm. So there wasn't a lot of downtime, which was cool. But that is true. Have your opinions changed at all? I feel like I don't know if <laughs> you're going to revisit this or not. Um, I have not revisited it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we kind of planned this in ahead of time. We were like, we're going to do it on this day. So that I think I I may have been the only one to revisit things, but I wanted to re-listen to um, Marvin Gaye and Boy Genius and uh, Radiohead because I felt like I deserved to give those another chance. Mm -hmm. And well, and Boy Genius and Marvin Gaye, I just didn't revisit, even though I liked them. Yeah. But I've been listening to the new Lucy Dacus album. Right, it counts. So 
Yeah. I'm still we'll, in it. We'll talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I was like, I don't think I need to revisit Gex for this. Um, yeah. yeah I, don't I didn't I hate to. it as much as I thought I was going to. I, I don't think I liked it, though. Mm-hmm. But, but there were moments where you kind of saw, like, why someone might like this. There were bits and pieces in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think um, you know we got some some comments on on that video. Mm-hmm. Uh, some some Gex fans very supportive were comments there. on that video, by the way. Yeah, surprisingly so, uh, because you know, I didn't even say too too many bad things about mm. Radiohead. I think probably the worst thing I said was that it was sleepy, but I say that all the time. Yeah, he says that about literally everything that's more than four minutes long. So yeah, I have a very short attention span mm-hmm. when it comes to music. Um, but, you know, I say a couple like that's the worst thing I say for Radiohead. And it's our most disliked video other than Kangaroo Jack. <laughs> and then I like go off on Gex and we have not even come close yeah. to like. A, a number I think of it's dislikes. just different in fan. It's difference in fandoms as well. Yeah, um, that's true. I don't want to pin Radiohead fans as anything, but they are a lot more reactive, especially when, you know, In Rainbows is one of the most liked albums ever. So it's like everybody kind of expects to just be like, oh, my God, this is fantastic out of everybody they hear. So they're not used mm-hmm. to that at all. Um, but there were, you know, people who were like, hey, this, he's going to warm up to this eventually or he's this is just not the one for him because Radiohead is just so incredibly like diverse in every single album. Mm-hmm. Um, this was just the one I picked personally that I thought he would resonate with the most. Could have been right. Could have been wrong. Who knows? Um, Maybe. Uh, I didn't resonate to Gex, though. Mm-hmm. Getting back on topic. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'd, I probably haven't thought about it since the reaction video. Just that was because. more of just like a fun, like, here's something yeah. absolutely, like, absurd that we can all just kind of listen to. Um, yeah. I've actually revisited it more since that video. It's okay. kind of gotten me in the mood for uh, that kind of stuff again. Um, revisiting the original stuff and not the Trade Clues stuff, which is what I've mm-hmm. been listening to um, prior to that point. But listening to the original ringtone is kind of a trip still. I still can't get over that, Yeah, like, I've, it's, <laughs> I've gotten too used to the remix. Which I think the remix is better. Yeah, they're if, both really uh, good. Um, yeah. But yeah, the remix is great. Yeah. You gotta but, love when... Uh, Charlie and Carol Carol Bonito were on mm-hmm. this song at the same time. Yeah. But I mean, but yeah, we're literally like warming up his style to different things. So even if he doesn't like something, he's exposed to it. So when he hears something that's a little like weird or experimental, it's not like a complete shock. Yeah, that is true. Um, I guess I should probably say that my, my background is, entirely sheltered when it came to music that's kind of why we started doing this show is because um you know uh my a little bit of a jerry backstory <laughs> corner uh but you know my parents were super restrictive on what i could or couldn't listen to growing up um and i've only started to kind of explore everything like you know when i was getting ready to leave high school onwards um, so now I'm listening to a whole lot of stuff and it's very different than what I was, uh, listening to before. Um, and I don't like all of it, but I am listening to a lot. We are breaking the shell. Yeah. We're getting close. So who knows? Maybe two years from now, Gex will be my absolute favorite band. I think if we're still doing this in two years, I think both of our music tastes will be completely different. That is true. Um, which would be cool to see. Yeah. But mm-hmm. that was Gex. Uh, Boy Genius was next. Our shortest album okay. to date. It's our shortest. And we'll yep. probably remain that for the rest of this series. <laughs> <laughs> probably. I don't know if we're going to do any EPs where it would be shorter than yeah, that. I but. made an exception for this one because, like, I can't shelter him from this. Or just not recommend it in general. <laughs> Yeah. Well, this was weird because I don't think I had heard you bring it up before, or at least I hadn't 
I didn't remember you bringing it up mm-hmm. before until you put it on the list as possibilities. Um, I, I, of course, knew who Phoebe Bridgers was. Um, I was unfamiliar with Julian Baker and Lucy Dacus. But I am now familiar with Lucy Dacus. I have been listening to the new album, Home Video. We mentioned That's that in the video. Called. We have both listened to it since this point. Yes. And it is fantastic. Um, yes, I agree. So listen to it if you haven't yet. Yeah. If you are a fan of, well, I, if you're a fan of Boy Genius, yeah, dude, you're, you're, you like Lucy it. already, so just listen to it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're probably not introducing you to it. Um, but yeah, I would highly recommend it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's probably like one of the strongest like nine track runs ever, um, and it's very diverse and cool. So yes, go back to Boy Genius. Julian Baker's Little Oblivions from this year as well. That one's fantastic. I have not I have not listened to any Julian Baker mm-hmm. aside from this. Um, I don't know. Should I do it or should I save it for Lucy's your show? favorite? Um, I'm gonna say that I now have... and it's gonna remain fact. Okay. Because I already I kind know. Of, I kind of pictured that just because of how much I've been enjoying home video. And mm-hmm. I'm like, this. And like I said earlier, I revisited Boy Genius. And I could tell when it was a Lucy Dacus song. Um, and I was like, ooh, I like this. Mm-hmm. Like, I think Bite the Hand and what's the last song called? Uh, Catch Em Idaho. Yes. I like that one. Even though that's like straight up country or folk it's um, more of like a folk song i think it's not inherently yeah. country but i just i would associate it it kind of sounds like a really old song because mm-hmm. of like the song structure is you know they got that little swinging kind of vocals where it'll like go across the whole octave kind of in like one word mm-hmm. um and just kind of like they'll do like really short verses and then repeat the chorus a lot. And that's kind of how that song works. Um, and I like, you know, bite the hand and catch them Idaho. Um, those are probably my favorite. I would think, um, and this is not something that I noticed in my initial reaction, but something that I would kind of hope for if a boy genius LP ever came out, which it needs to, um, it needs to, um, but I almost, this is something that you mentioned that like, they kind of brought songs to this project. Mm-hmm. I would almost want them to collaborate and then just like make a whole lot of new stuff together. Well, I think that's what souvenir was like. Souvenir was like the biggest success of that, I think. Mm-hmm. But I think they literally made this in four days. Okay. That's what the Wikipedia says. Or they just kind of like I, came together in like four days done. So if they actually spent time and crafted these together, I think it could, yeah, solve mm-hmm. those issues. Which it isn't a bad thing. No, it's not. But um, it's just more like, oh, this is a Phoebe song. Or, oh, this is, a, yeah. And I almost don't want that because mm-hmm. it's like, I want to know what you guys can do together. You know, you guys are, well, I mean, you are in a group, 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 but you just kind of came together and performed different songs together. I would almost want like kind of new sounds mm-hmm. from. And I kind of put it there as well. Cause knowing that like this is an introduction to three people instead of one person. Mm-hmm. So yeah. But yeah, um, it's, it's good. Mm-hmm. I liked it. Yeah. I've been listening. To I don't think that's changed. Too, so yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, mm-hmm. what was next? Fishing, fishing for fishies was after that. Ooh. Um, this was a good one. Mm-hmm. I liked this one a lot. Uh, it ended very sad. Um, makes me cry when the fish die and the, the side boogies take over. Um, but I, I really enjoyed Fishing for Fishies. Um, I mean, I kind of thought that I was going to mm-hmm. just because. I mean, you requested you know. I put it on there. So. Oh, did I? I think so. I didn't have it on okay. there initially. Okay. Well, then, good job, me, in the past. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> uh, I think the bird song is still my favorite. That one I still go back to, and I'm like, man, that, that is a groovy song, man. It's uh, 
I mean, it's a, pretty much an ELO song, but I like ELO mm-hmm. sometimes. So, uh, <laughs> you know, what's not to like? The instrumentation is great. Uh, I, I think uh, my stance on the drums has not changed. They're some of the best uh, drumming that I've ever heard. Um, everything's just so G dang clean. Mm-hmm. It's great. Uh, and some of that, of course, goes to the production too. Right. But, yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm hoping they do more King Gizzard. Um, I might just start chucking some of them on there that I haven't heard yet. Uh, we got a lot of stuff right now, though, so I'm kind of holding off because there's a couple that mm-hmm. I really, really, really want to listen to. So I'm kind of nudging those forward a little bit. Uh, that's complete personal bias, by the way. I'm being selfish and want to listen to the ones that I really want to listen to. Um, okay. Yeah, I've been adding the ones that I haven't heard in a long time, like this thing, I think, and Acarine or whatever. Those are ones mm. that were really, really good um, to me in that reaction. So I've been kind of listening to those because that's not something that I initially picked up on when I first got the record and started listening to it. Mm-hmm. So, Fishing for Fishies, pretty good. I agree. Uh, I like that a lot. Was Jim Croce next? I think Jim Croce was next. Yes, Jim Croce okay. was next. And this one is straight up all you, pal. Yeah. Uh, I haven't revisited it. I haven't um, came back to it. I haven't added to anything uh, similar to Blues Traveler. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I would put them on the same... Well, I did the same thing with them. Oh, okay, okay. I just like, you know, I know, I now know what this is. Um, and I've experienced it and I don't feel like I need to experience it again. Um, same thing, older music, I don't add to playlists. Um, and if I need something along the range of Jim Croce, I'm putting, I have probably five to 10 artists that I would put before Jim Croce to put on, um, a playlist. But mm-hmm. I enjoyed some of it. Some of it was a little eh, uh, just kind of like pretty basic, um, but wasn't bad. I think it was a listening experience that was just chill. Um, mm-hmm. Nothing offensive or overtly like not sounding right to me. Just not something I'm going to come back to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was I was like so torn on which one to um, recommend. Because, you know, stupid YouTuber brain was like, you got to do, <laughs> the can't mess around one. with Jim. Yeah. The popular one. Even though I think Life and Times is better overall. It's mm-hmm. way more consistent. Um, you don't mess around with Jim is, is kind of all over the place uh, in terms of styles and kind of quality, in my opinion. Um, there are definitely some that even I skip mm-hmm. as a resident Jim Croce fan. But... I don't usually skip any on life and times. Um, and I don't know if it would have been any different for you. Uh, knowing your listening tastes, it probably would have been exactly the same, Mm -hmm. but at least now I have like questions where it's like, would, would, would you have liked it better? Cause I don't know. I don't know. We probably won't. I won't put it back on the list. (laughs) I don't think we need another Jim Croce video, but probably not. I mean, uh, you know, you won't get Jim Croce reactions right after like 100 Gex anywhere else. Um, That's all I'm saying. So that's true. Kind of going all over. I like how diverse we've been so far. So Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Well, I don't. I don't have a whole lot to add. Um, I feel like I kind of gave all my thoughts and opinions in the video. Mm So Um, we can move on to our last one. KKB. Yes. Yes. Uh, time and place was our tenth reaction. Um, mm-hmm. This was my pick once again. Yes. Um, so yeah, this was my first time listening to this. Uh, full transparency, we recorded it like a couple of days ago. Yeah, like literally two days ago. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, haven't had a whole lot of time to revisit it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have been too busy kind of preparing for this video, and I had to prepare some stuff for the Boy Time podcast link in the description yeah well, bio probably we don't bio really put the yeah. <laughs> if you want to know our opinions on music that literally just came out it'll be in that channel um along with mm. other gaming stuff so we do a whole lot of news but plugs aside um 
yeah, I was. Uh, I have not gotten a chance to re-listen to it, but I did like it. I think um, if we were to like cut our reactions in half and be like, you know, top five, bottom five, mm-hmm. I think this one's probably in the top five. Even though I have not made a list uh, of like tier list of all. I the almost ones thought I almost went and made a tier list, but I, don't I know. thought about it. I don't too. like judging art to like, especially stuff that's so different in genres so it's gonna be a little weird if we were doing just hip-hop or just then i would feel a little yeah yeah but we are all over the place it's kind of hard to judge things Mm -hmm. uh, on a on the same level when it's all so different in between um but i think if i was to make a list i think that it would be on the top um but probably not super high. I didn't care too much for the rock, but I'm not a huge rock guy anyways. Mm-hmm. That's why I put um, it as like a five and not a zero. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of their more, uh, I don't have the track list up, but some of their like more like bunny dough. I can't ever remember the <laughs> freaking it's like she's Bonito wearing a graduation. Yes. Generation. Yep. yep. It's, it should be Benito graduation <laughs> with the cover, but it's okay. Uh, I like some of the more uh, stuff that's like that. I like their kind of poppy, super accessible trampoline style stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, then they're experimental, but I don't usually like experimental stuff. Uh, it would have to be something like Blonde where it would be like, this is experimental and really flipping epic because Frank is a talented ass boy. But, um, yeah. I think I would relate uh, Blonde to this one the most out yeah. of like two albums we've done. Mm-hmm. And I think this one literally takes the same exact path as a first reaction and then eventually getting into it as a personal like favorite. I think that's most people's experience with it. It could be. Um, at least yeah. that was mine at least but yeah the it it kept growing and kept growing and kept growing and now it's still like probably one of my favorites ever so Mm. it's one of those that rewards future listens and it's also pretty easy to listen to for most of the track list yeah i think so um oh that was one thing that i wanted to do was watch that music video but alas i got time for that so um yeah that was all 10 uh first 10 We'll probably do this every 10 or so. Um, I I don't know if Mm -hmm. I'd want to do more just because, you know, quick recap of what we're doing, clarify some things. Um, We're doing Bruno Mars 24K Magic for our next reaction. We'll be right back in there, getting in there. Uh, We have three viewer reaction submissions. Um, I'll put those on the screen probably just so you know what we have. Uh, Go ahead and recommend this stuff. I could probably just put our entire list on the screen just so people know what we have and what's coming. Yeah. Um, I've thought about, you know, making that like a public document uh, that nobody can edit. Yeah. Just or so they something. Can see it. I, yeah. We could put it in the description of every video too. something just so everybody knows what's there. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's been pretty fun so far. A lot yeah. better than solo reacting. I agree. So let us know what to react to next and like, comment, and subscribe if you like our hot takes. Our single hot take. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go stream creep yeah. two. Oh yeah. It's so good. <laughs>